What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Bitcoin price surpassing $10,000. Not only that, we're going to be taking a look at two crucial zones which Bitcoin could be going through. And we're also going to be talking about trading Bitcoin during this price rally which we are seeing. We're also going to be taking a look at the global crypto market cap surpassing 300 billion for the first time since August of last year. And we're also going to be talking about Bitcoin's mining difficulty. Um, pretty much delaying new equipment because of the coronavirus, potentially. We're also going to be taking a little bit of a look at a price prediction for Bitcoin for the upcoming halvening. So all that good stuff coming up in today's video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. So if you haven't already, make sure to smash up the like buttons and also subscribe with the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Not only that, but pause this video right now and leave a comment saying whatever you want down below and you could be entered into the giveaway on Monday. I believe I'm gonna be good doing two giveaways on Monday since I missed this one because I was traveling. So leave a comment down below without a doubt and you can be entered into that giveaway. So moving on into the video, as we can see, Bitcoin is pretty much pumping in price. It has been pretty much since the 25th, 24th, or even earlier back here, uh, down here and of last year, late December of last year. And we can see we've pretty much got this upwards trend here and we have tested it once, twice, three times, and we are still trending upwards. Bitcoin did in fact break above $10,000 and we are still sitting above $10,000. So because we're above $10,000, what does that mean for Bitcoin? Well, I've outlined two pretty crucial areas here. We have first of all here about $10,900, which comes in as a pretty heavy uh, level of resistance. We can see back here we've touched it once, twice, kind of three times, four times and almost five times. So it is a fairly uh, strong level of resistance for Bitcoin that it would have to be breaking if we did want to go up and show new new highs, upwards of around $12,000 in that area. We do have a strong level of support down here at around 9,400 uh, 9,500, that kind of range. And we can see here we uh, we were, were holding here for quite some time uh, back here as well in November of last year. Also, we touched it one, two, three, four, almost five times, going back yet yeah, six times. So this is a very, very strong level here. And if we were to break this $9,400 level, it would be a kind of bearish in the short term for Bitcoin, nevertheless. Although I do think we could be going up to test this level here of near 11K in the near future, um, I do want to talk a little bit about trading Bitcoin right now. Um, in the last video, either the last video or the last to last video, I was saying to you guys that whenever Bitcoin has a pullback, um, if you are leverage trading and you are into trading Bitcoin with leverage, you really should be buying the dip with a little bit of leverage. That was my plan anyway. And I really wanted to buy this dip here. Unfortunately, exactly on this day, I had a flight that was like nine hours long. So I wasn't in fact able to buy this dip. Unfortunately, um, I did put a buy order, but unfortunately didn't reach. Um, so the, definitely the next time we see a little pullback, maybe down here um, to just below 10,000, I'm definitely going to be entering a trade and I'll be letting you guys know about that. Um, over on Bybit. So you can see that we can pretty much see on the one hour, whenever we have a pullback, we go higher, re reasonably um, in local short time, higher high. So pullback and we go up again, pullback, we go up again, pullback. Yes, we did go a little bit lower, but still, if you'd have waited, we would have made that again. So if this is on the Bybit chart, and if you haven't already joined Bybit, guys, my link will be down below. If you are a reasonably experienced trader, and you were looking to leverage trade, Bybit can be a great place to do that. But please, uh, you definitely have to watch more videos about leverage trading and be experienced um, as it can be a little bit risky. But if you were interested in leverage trading, um, there'll be a $90 free link down below. If you use my link, I would be very appreciative as it helps out the channel. So all I'm saying is next time there's a pullback, I'm gonna be entering in on a trade, probably with a five or 10X leverage absolute maximum uh, on Bitcoin, as I think that could be a potentially good option. Um, if you were to enter a trade when it pulls back, I probably would set a reasonably tight stop loss um, just because right now the price is extremely um, volatile in both ways, up and down. So I think setting a tight stop loss would definitely be extremely helpful. All right, guys, so if you haven't already checked out the Bitcoin Blueprint 2.0, there'll be a link down below in the description, basically an A to Z guide on how you can make um, a little bit of a side income or potentially a full-time income with cryptocurrency. Um, it goes all through trading about the basics of Bitcoin and blockchain and how you can go on to trade profitably. That's the Bitcoin Blueprint linked down below. And actually starting on Monday next week, I'm gonna be adding some more videos to that, um, which is gonna be exciting. So if you're already enrolled, 
Um, you're going to get the videos for free. They're coming next week. So that should be very, very exciting. Moving on now, global crypto market cap breaks 300 billion for the first time since August. Um, it goes on to say the crypto markets have gone through a clear revival in the past six months, breaking above 300 billion in overall market cap for the first time in over six months. Um, on Wednesday, after the, BT after the latest BTC hike above $10,000, the overall market cap reached just around $300 billion, which is really good, actually. Um, at this valuation, the crypto market is worth just a fraction of the price in comparison to some of the bigger companies, such as Apple, um, which is valued at $1.39 trillion, which is insane. Um, we can see here on coin market cap, it did reach over $300 um, a billion, which is really, really nice to see. Going down here, it says, while the market cap is not a reliable measure and does not match the liquidity for all assets, it's still helping to reveal uh, a trend. In December of 2017, the overall market cap briefly reached above 790 billion. This was during the bull market in 2017, showing that the markets are um, potentially capable of reaching that one trillion market cap. And if we have a look at the overall market cap, we can see even, even taking this out of account, this kind of descending, um, time period here from back when we pumped up to around 14k I believe this was um, we can see that we're still in an upwards trend trend which is really really good and we can see we've at the, the market cap has actually absolutely been exploding recently and of course um, the Bitcoin price has been exploding as well moving on uh, Bitcoin's mining difficulty stagnates as contravirus outbreak delays new equipment um, I won't bore you too much with this article it's basically saying that um, a lot of uh, miners are moving on to new equipment. However, the delivery for this new equipment has been delayed. Um, so a lot of people are still mining on the S7 or S9s. Um, even though they probably wouldn't be that profitable now, being that the Bitcoin price is over 10K, I'm sure that they are still are fairly profitable without a doubt. It goes on to say um, Bitcoin is designed for the difficulty to adjust roughly every two weeks, which I'm sure you know, depending on the amount of computing power connected to the network. When miners, um, when more miners join the race to earn newly created Bitcoin, the difficulty rises. When miners drop out, when miners drop out, the difficulty eases, which I'm sure you all know. Uh, miners were bracing for a new reality. Their industry was about to become fundamentally less profitable. In May, the mining rewards are expected to be cut in half to around 6.25 Bitcoin, uh, around $64,000 in current prices per block every 10 minutes or so. This would be the so-called uh, the so-called third halving in Bitcoin's history and could re result in operating costs exceeding revenues at miners. So it's saying that because the, the halving is happening, um, the costs could go up significantly. Segwaying on to the halving again, how much has Bitcoin rallied as a result of each, is it, each of its halving dates um, to date? Basically, the first halving, uh, we rallied 13,378%, which is crazy. The second, we rallied 12,160%. And it goes on to say, if BTC rallies anything between 12,000, um, basically these two numbers, as a result, the halving uh, number three, the price of Bitcoin could be between $385,000 to $400,000, which is absolutely crazy. Let me know down in the comments below if you think that's realistic. I personally think that's a little unrealistic, um, definitely before the halving. Um, after the halving, I do think it's unrealistic in the short term. Long, long term, though, I think that price is realistic, but definitely not immediately after the halving happens, um, which is pretty interesting. So overall, the Bitcoin price is looking really bullish. We are still way above the 200 day uh, moving average. If I bring that up quickly, uh, we're still way above the 200 day moving average, which is nice. And this is starting to form a kind of curve upwards on the 200 day, which is also extremely nice. Um, the price is still ascending, which is great. We are coming to this level of around 11K, 10.9K uh, level of resistance. But hopefully um, we could potentially remain in between 9.4K and this range and then gain more momentum and go up and test this level up here of about 12K. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you haven't already checked out the Bitcoin blueprint, it will be linked down below. And thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.